Hello and welcome back to our Majora's Mask playthrough. We're thawing out the forge so we can upgrade our sword today now that we've defeated Snowhead Temple. Huh? Oh, you've done me a great favor. Now then, the hearth can finally go to work for me. Thanks. Gabora, fetch our customer some coffee. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. All right, to sharpen your sword, it'll cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready tomorrow. Keep in mind, after you use it a hundred times, it'll lose its edge and revert back to its original sharpness. Thanks for dropping in. Now straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. All right, so we gotta just use the song a double time to fast forward to tomorrow. Right now we should be able to collect our upgraded sword. <laughs> All right, we now have the razor sword. But if we use it a hundred times, it'll just go back to being the Kokori sword and will no longer be upgraded. But I'll let you in on a secret. If we collect gold dust, we can make this into the most powerful sword yet. So we got to go do that. So to collect the gold dust, to upgrade our sword a second time, we need to open up the Goron races. So that's going to be our next objective. Now that we've thawed out Goron Village, we can get into this area that was blocked by ice previously. I'm the Goron who sells powder kegs. Want a powder keg? They explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I have tested to see that you can use them properly, I can't just let you use them. If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron race track, then he'll allow us to keep using them. So we are now on a timer and have to get there as fast as possible with this keg. And if we pull it off and come back to him, he'll give us a license to use these explosives whenever we need to. Okay, I guess I gotta throw it up here and then roll up the hill because it won't let me walk up there. Oh, we're gonna end up tight on time on this. It's gonna come down to the wire, literally. Hopefully this thing does not explode in our hands. I wonder how many hearts of damage this thing would do to us if it went off right now. Okay, I believe the Goron race track is through here. Yeah, we got to cross these bridges and go up the hill, avoiding all these bulls. Oh, we're getting close to the end of this fuse, but I think we can pull this off. 
to get the gold dust, we need to win the race at the Goron Racetrack. He wants to go see the race, but the boulder's blocking it, so let's take care of that. You did it. I'm going in. I'll wait for you. All right, time for some fun at the races. We passed the exam. Victory. Come on, let's go tell Big Goron. Uh, we'll do that after our race. Ah, Darmy, we've been waiting for you. Everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter the race. You have to show everyone how Darmy races. Okay, if we run out of magic power, pick up the green jars on the track. Hopefully these other Gorons don't knock us too far off course. Remember they can uh, knock you off the bridge and things and this area can actually become very frustrating. But I think we'll be able to pull this off. I'm hoping the controls for the 3DS version are a little better than the N64 version. Of course, as I say that, we get knocked over by one of the Gorons. Yeah, I don't tend to hit a lot of obstacles or bombs. It's more just trying to dodge the other racers on the track. Yeah, because they can knock you off this bridge and then your race is over at that point. Alright, I think we've got this. Luckily, they took each other out at the end. That was great. I knew you were the fastest Goron Darmy. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. We got the bottle of gold dust. It's the finest quality available. So we can use that to upgrade our sword a second time. So we got to go back to the mountain village and talk to the guys at the forge. This just seemed easier than walking there. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Now that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been sharpened to the razor sword. Unless, do you have some gold dust to upgrade it again? Why, if it isn't gold dust and it's even top quality, well, even if I use the sword or this to upgrade your sword, there'll still be a little left over. Thanks for dropping by now. Come back tomorrow. All right, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I need to get done before we return. And I know we need to talk to that big Goron about the powder keg so we can get that license sorted out. So if I forget to do that, then I won't be able to buy powder kegs in Clock Town after I reset time. 
I would have to thaw out Goron Village and go do that powder keg quest a second time, and I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to not forget to go see him. Oh, we're going to fall in the water here, aren't we? Yeah, Gorons can't swim, so I'm going to have to run across the bridge. I'm so used to there being ice down there and just being able to roll through this area. Should eventually buy that map from Tingle as well. All right, give us our license for powder tags. Looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle powder kegs. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. All right, he gave us a powder keg. Powder kegs are very volatile, so you can only carry one. If you shoot them with an arrow, they will explode. That's going to be important later. So now we can open up the milk road using a powder keg because we have a license to buy them. And I'll want to be able to do that on day one so I'll have time to do the quest for Epona. Wait, doesn't this guy sell us something? I believe he sells us the upgraded uh, bomb bag. Yeah, so the biggest bomb bag we can get for 200 rupees. That's going to require a trip back to Clock Town, though. But we have some time to kill while we're waiting for our sword to get reforged, so maybe I'll go make a withdrawal at the bank and buy our biggest bomb bag. That'll definitely make sure we never run out of bombs in a dungeon again. We're already halfway through the dungeon, so we have... Uh, the Great Bay Temple and the Stone Tower Temple still to go, but we're done uh, Woodfall Temple and we're done Snowhead Temple already. Oh, he's not going to let me take out more than 200? I guess our wallet only holds 200 at the moment. Oh, because I'm already holding rupees. I guess he wants me to correct the amount. Here we are. Now we have enough to buy that bomb bag. So we'll go do that, and then we'll be collecting our upgraded sword. Be able to do big damage with that. We want to make sure we're all set up before we head to the uh, Great Bay. Will be nice to collect that Zora's mask. There's another thing I commonly heard criticized about this 3D version of the game was the, uh, the swimming with the Zora mask is not the same. We'll have to see how that's been changed. Alright, we're back to collect our bomb bag. 
I think we have to have the Goron mask on to buy it, though. Alright, we got the biggest bomb bag, and we can now hold 40 bombs. All right, let's go collect our upgraded sword. Now, I think we actually have to still advance time. I don't think our sword's ready to be picked up, but we can use the song of double time. So let's advance to the dawn of the last day. Definitely going to have to reset time after collecting our sword, but I think we've accomplished everything we needed to here in this run. We now have the gold sword. There it is. We can't make it any stronger. No matter how t many times you use it, it'll never lose its edge. Oh, I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. Of course you did. All right, well, now we have the strongest sword we're going to get for a while, so I guess we just have to reset time back to the first day. Seeing as it's dawn of the third day, there, we don't really have a lot of time to do many other side quests at this point. back to dawn of the first day but we have our powder keg license we have our upgraded sword and we have our biggest bomb bag the time is slowed down we're ready to start more side quests but we're going to do that next time so I hope you'll come back and see our next episode. Thanks for watching and bye for now.